Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today we are going to take a look at five simple and useful tips for Windows 11 and to improve our experience with Windows 11. Now I will leave some timestamps right over there on the YouTube video so that you can skip any of these tips in case you are already using it. And if you are using Windows 10 or 11 and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get a bit cheaper. So just in case, the link will be down below. Let's start with tip number one and that is to change our default browser. Microsoft comes with Microsoft Edge by default and if you like it just keep it as it is but if you prefer to use as your default browser Chrome, Firefox or any other we can change that. So we just need to go to the options and then apps and we will look for the browser that we already have installed on the list of apps in this particular case let's use Firefox as an example and then just select it at the top we will have the option to set it as default and it will automatically apply to practically all types of actions that require a browser just check out and if there is one or two without being changed we can manually adjust it and that is it after that every action that requires a browser will open the browser that you have chosen in this particular case Firefox now if you still need to use Microsoft Edge or Chrome for any other action you can open manually as you would with any other app tip number two has to do with cosmetic which is the dark mode but not only cosmetic because it helps our especially in darker environment so if you like this kinds of darker environment the setup is really easy we just need to go to options customization and then colors and in the menu we just need to select dark mode and that is it we will have this really cool look Tip number three is for those that loved the start button on the left on Windows 10. Now Windows 11 it has on the center and also the apps that we fix but we can put it on the left. To do that we just need to go to our taskbar and click on the right button on the mouse. Choose options and below we will have the taskbar behavior where the alignment is and we can choose left to align it to the left and that is it simple as this you will have a look similar to windows 10. now personally i do prefer on the center but this will depend on our preferences one other thing that i would suggest you to check out at least if you like it or not is to hide the taskbar when we are not using it i love that option and i usually use on my machines this one actually is not activated but it's really simple you just need to check where it says hide the taskbar when not in use and what happens is that when we are not using the taskbar it will get hidden and then if we move our mouse it will show up and we can use it normally like we would and that ends up with tip number three now tip number four is the notifications we had a lot in windows 10 and it looks to me that on windows 11 we are getting more notifications if you spend a lot of time on a windows computer working editing videos or whatever you do and you are tired of getting those notifications let's take a look on how we can change now we just need to go to the options and then on system we'll find the notifications options we just need to select that and the first option is to turn them all off this will be a matter if you want to stop receiving from everything or just to select the ones that you don't want to receive and if you want to do that just scroll down to the apps and you will find that we can order by uh, recent apps used and so on so that we can filter and deactivate the ones that are annoying us another option is to check out if you want to do the automatic turn off of the notifications through the do not disturb or even through the focus options so this is something that i would suggest to try it out and you will see that if you spend a lot of time on the computer you will have a lot less distractions with those pop-ups that sometimes 
turn a moment that we are focused into five minutes that we lose reading something and then we get the focus to somewhere else and it's not good at all. Now, lastly, how to consume less resources of our computer, especially on apps that will boot automatically when we start up our computer and some of them or all of them we will not require. So for that we will need to go to the startup apps. Just go to the taskbar, right click on the mouse and select task manager. Then we will find the startup apps or startup applications and we will find the list of applications and we can choose which ones we want to start and which ones we won't. Every time we start the computer, only those that we selected that will start up will start up with the computer. So probably I just need one or two apps that I know for a fact that I'm always going to use when my computer starts. I probably am not going to use 20 apps that start all over. And the truth is that more apps that we install on our system, more apps that automatically will go to that list and will start up by their own. And sometimes we just don't need. Nonetheless, if you don't start up Spotify, for example, and once you need Spotify, you just need to go to your menu and then select Spotify and start it manually when you really need it because on all the machines what we will feel is that if we are working in a Word document and we have 20 apps that started up with the computer and we are not using them they are just their consuming resources and probably our experience on Word which should be efficient is probably being slowed down by the apps that we did not use and that being said my name is Roberto George. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.